Welcome to EdTech Tuesday. Today we're going to look at one of the whiteboard apps. Rich, which one are we going to focus on? There's a number of these different interactive virtual whiteboards, and the one we're going to look at is called Show Me. It's a free app that you can download readily in the App Store. Well, we all like to hear the word free. Free is a great thing. And are there any drawbacks on this one being free, advertising, or anything like that? No, I actually really enjoy the fact that we aren't cluttering this app with advertising when we see it. It's okay. really nice that way. Well, let's go through a brief demo so we can overview the app for you and take a look at it. All right, I'll go all ahead right. and launch that app. And the first time you launch it, you'll be prompted to set up an account with email and a password of your choosing. I've already had gone ahead and done that. And as you can see here along the top, it has my name and more account information is accessible there. A set of different demonstrations or lessons that I have recorded using my finger or a stylus writing right on the surface of this tablet, much like if I were to use a pen and write on a traditional whiteboard. So I thought we'd go ahead and take a look okay. at one of these show me's, as they're called, like an example plan. presentation. Yeah, let's so take a look. here's one that a high school student recently did for me on the quadratic equation. <laughs> they go ahead and they model and write out the equation here. Right. And we don't have the sound turned on, but it, this program actually records your sound, which is a great way to go because well, you can and, and you want to know what I love about this is as we're looking at apps and we're considering how we can get students more involved in their learning, this is a great example of that because the purpose is to show their thinking and, Absolutely. and maybe there's an area where they're having a breakdown in thinking or they have it we can we can actually assess that with an app like this yeah it's really nice I'm gonna go ahead and pause this now I could favorite it using the heart and then <laughs> okay. that shows up in a list as well great when you're done completing which we'll walk through in, in just a few moments you'll have some other options to share and, and do some other things but what you can do as a teacher is a couple different things. One, you can record all of the lessons that you teach. Okay. You don't have to have access to a website or even know anything about creating a website because as soon as your work is done, it gives you the option to save that and find it easily okay. through Show Me. Let's go ahead and do a, a sample creation of one. And I'm going to click Create in the upper right-hand corner. Oh, nice. You'll see a couple of different things going on up here in the top, but the place to start is this small circle at the top. I've gone ahead, I see down below there's a time marker where it says uh, five seconds at this point. Oh, great. It seems very easy. And you know, we can, right. when we're done. And, and real quick, Rich, sure. this is capturing our voice if we're recording. Yes, it so is. So that in the voice explanation, it's in the background and you have the visual part too. That's right. And I can easily insert pictures using the icon along the top on the left hand side there. I can nice. erase different things. I can use different colors. I can but see let's a, save this here. And a thousand different uses for this. This is great. Yeah, it's really nice. I click save, show me. It's going to go ahead and once I'm done here, I can preview it. I'm going to click save. I can name it here. Okay. And for this case, I'm going to call it test one just for simplicity. <laughs> okay, great. I can add different ah, tags or different descriptions, now, different categories. The purpose behind tagging things are, are is to help you simply organize them and be able to find them later, or other people who you're collaborating with can then find. What That's you're exactly okay, right. Great. So in this case, we're just going to say language. I can choose different uh, topics. And from here, let's say, just for the sake of an example, I'm done. Nice. It posts this, meaning that it's automatically going to their server and now it could be shared. If wow. I want to share this, there's a number of different things I can do. Okay. I can make this available to everybody. Okay. I can make it private so only I see it. So okay. if you're worried about students sharing their work and their voice for privacy. I definitely want to do that for the students. You could right. do this right here. Okay. And then under share, you have an opportunity to post to Facebook, which oh. I would not recommend doing for your own personal account and sharing student information that way. But you right. could simply use email. If it's one of your own lessons in your school or district's policy right. allows you to share your work on some of these social media uh, networks, right. feel free to do so. Well, and, and what I, I'm seeing here is this is a lot like Khan Academy. You're getting to play Khan, so to speak. So you want to, you know, make sure that this is for appropriate uses. But if you did have a, you know, a school site Facebook account, it could be a place that you could put it. Absolutely. Uh, which, which would be great. Well, let's take a look at one last component, Okay. and that's Explore. So what's really nice is there's a huge community, thousands of teachers and students that have Very created nice. content around a number of different topics. I myself have not come across any inappropriate material yet. I okay. think that's a really neat thing. So you thing. want to preview the just in case. Just in case. Okay, great. And then as you can see along the left-hand side, you can search for content matter by subject or along the top that's under search. That's what that tagging was for. Right? Tagging okay. all comes back to play here. So nice. that's a really quick overview of Show Me.
And I, I would just, one last recommendation that I would have is this is great for new teachers and also teachers that are switching grade level because you can then look at other people's work and get a refresher. Um, Rich, any last pros or cons that you have for this app? I don't know that I would necessarily say it's a con, but like most things related to the iPad, make sure that you're connected to the internet through your school district's Wi-Fi in order to post this material. As soon as it's done and you've recorded something, you're going to want to have it up on the web. And uh, other than that, I would just want to make sure that if anybody's going to be using it in their classroom with students and you're recording students doing demonstrations, that you've taken care to make sure that the proper forms and permissions have been secured uh, that are consistent with your district and school's policy to make sure that student data is safe. And I think the pros speak for themselves. It's a great app. Thank you for sharing.